Daly family have been sowing spuds at their farm overlooking Hellfire Bluff in Tasmania's southeast. And we just found with the washed potatoes that we were losing too many and just having to feed them to the cows because they didn't look right. And so we thought to ourselves, what can we do with the waste products? We had to develop a way to value add our potatoes, so we decided to open Hellfire Bluff Distillery. Of the 600 tonnes of potatoes processed in the family factory each year, 20% is considered second grade. Over the past two years, the Dailies have developed a potato vodka, a dry gin, and are in the process of developing a potato gin. We started off with vodka and we were down at the Salamanca market every Saturday and once we brought in our gin product we almost doubled in our sales instantly because gin is just such a huge thing at the moment. Everyone loves gin. Part of gin's attraction is it's a spirit that doesn't require long maturation, meaning quick returns. There are now 22 different brands of Tasmanian gin on the market and over 130 different varieties being bottled. Bill Lark is considered the father of distilling in the state, not just for picking up a swag of awards for his whiskies and gin, but for helping nearly everyone else in the industry get started. My experience has been that um, the more distilleries that we've had and the more product, the, the greater recognition we get in the international marketplace.